right guys well, hope you're all happy and well uh, what it is today I've decided to do a top 10 best finds that one and what it was is why I like this as number 10 is when I found it I only found that part um, I pulled it out at soil didn't expect next couple of minutes to find the stopper with it so it's a complete decanter so yeah that, that's number 10 right number nine um, it's got to be the boots chemist bottle uh, what I like about this bottle is they've never changed the writing the logo um, of the boots chemist so yeah there's number nine boots chemist bottle Right, number eight has got to be this bottle. Pure for decoration. I thought I think the design's really unique, um, and it it's this one. If you can see, it's got a really nice design all the way around the bottle. I do have two of these. I've got a clear one, and this is the aqua blue one, uh, and it says underneath uh, W Buzzfield and Co. Geisley. So that's a, that's a nice decorative bottle, um, and I like the colour. So yeah, that's a good one. Right, number seven has got to be Yates' Wine Lodge bottle that I found. Uh, I found this pretty early on that tip. Uh, I think it's in one of my, one of my, re my earliest videos. Um, the reason why I like Yates' Wine Lodge bottle is because... I used to go night clubbing at Yates's when I was a bit younger. Uh, had some good nights in there. Uh, so yeah, that's number seven. Right, guys, um, it's got to be the Polish Aviation World War Two badge, number six. Um, and why I like this badge is because I've dug a lot of badges, um, British badges, from this tip that I'm digging. Um, but to come across a Polish one from World War Two, I think it's brilliant. Um, considering they came over, a lot of their pilots came over to England uh, to join our pilots. Um, I just think that's brilliant that one of their pilots could have maybe settled in England after the war, World War Two, and maybe raised a family um, in Britain. So, yeah, I kind of like that badge. Number six. Right, number five has got to go to the WM Youngers bottle. I've dug two of these. Um, one I dug at the tip I'm at now, um, and one I dug at Lock Locky when I did a bottle hunt up there. Uh, it was really nice, nice trip up there with a few lads from work. Uh, so yeah, that's got to be number five. Right, number four is going to go to the Leeds General Infirmary Med Bottle. Um, I really like this bottle, with it being a local hospital. Um, I've been to this hospital a few times uh, growing up with a couple of broken arms I've had. And they've mended me. So, yep, that's going to be number four. Right, number three is going to go to a poison bottle. Um, I have dug a few poison bottles now, but this is my favourite. It's my first ever coffin shaped poison bottle. Um, I really hope I've dug some more of these because I do like them. Um, not to be taken. So there you go. That's number three. Right, number two is going to go to these two little things. Um, I'm guessing they're maybe perfume bottles um, and the reason why I like these is well you look at them they look, they look cool they look, they look cool you know um, and it's funny how we found them to be honest um, I found this one one day I uh, chuffed a bits of it uh, and I think it were maybe net day after or a couple of days after we were digging the same area and Tony found this one so I'm guessing 
obviously they're a set so Tony was kind enough to let me keep this one to go with set so yep cheers Tony for that uh, so yep that's number two this is what you've been waiting for the number one spot goes for my, my personal best find so far is this this is my favorite find and the reason why it's my favorite find um, I did a bit of research and Fintermans um, before it became a company um, it was a guy who had an Alsatian he entered it into Crufts a couple of times and he won both both times and the prize money he um, opened up a, a beverage company and I believe that beverage company still goes today uh, I'm not sure if they've been took over by anyone else I don't know um, but the dog were called Fearless uh, and it was an Alsatian as you can see on the front there's an Alsatian uh, so yep yeah, that's number one Right, there you go, the top 10 finds. I uh, hope you enjoyed. I'd like to say thank you to all my subscribers, and I'll see you on next dig. Peace out.